What is happening, Evan? Nothing much, man. Trying to get this body movement and and my shifting together. It's coming together, though. It was much smoother the last session. Final session of the day. Yeah. So we'll go out there and, and just take my time and enjoy the last session and, and, and work on my uh, corner. All right, man. Rock out, buddy. All right. Uh, listen, this is the best racetrack in California, other than maybe Laguna Seca. But this is better than Laguna for me. Laguna's too short. Yeah. I just like another lap, another lap. That's what I think yeah. of Laguna. All right, get on track, bud. Uh, there's got to be some other cool tracks in Cali. Oh, you got to go to Washington, dude. You got to see the ridge. The ridge is better than here. It flows so much. Have you seen my videos of the ridge? No. What about you? Have you seen the ridge? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, the ridge is key. It's key. Yeah. Well, then I need to come up there, wouldn't I? Switch your butt, Evan. Switch your butt. Where is Evan? Alright, final day is over. The day is over. It was a good day. Good riding, good group of people, new friends. How was your last session? Last session was good. You know, I tried to relax more and just remember what we talked about. And, and so I tried to get smoother in my body transitioning. I think I had more body off the right side of the bike now. Just how much you're moving your butt or your upper body as well? Yeah. You know, and I'm doing what you said. Don't go to the center of the bike anymore. Yeah, I, I was only watching did it once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I was watching over there. So you did go over there. I did see a late transition entering um, the final right. You know, like you're still trying to remember to get your butt over early as possible. So something we can talk about tomorrow as well. Yeah, like, yeah a couple of times uh, I downshifted uh, and couldn't upshift in time, and that threw off my focus. It happens, yeah. And how's your bike working for you so far? Oh, it's working good. It's good. You know, I, I'm probably. I mean, it runs fine. It handles good. I've outgrown my suspension. It's Stock really, suspension, guys. Yeah, it's really time for me to upgrade the suspension. I had and actually planned on doing it this year, but we did talk about that last year, wasn't it? We talked about that last year, and the goal was to do it this year, but I, too many other things got in the way. This is the first time I've ridden it this year. How many miles was it? Yeah, I can't remember. 17. That's it. The rain stayed away most of the day. That's great. Yeah. All we got is a little bit. Yeah. What are we rocking out here? Oh, yeah. A little bit of traction. Oh, your tire is done, dude, on the left. You need a new tire. I didn't realize this earlier. Your tire is toast. Look, there's no mark right here. <laughs> and your marks are very low on the right. Yeah, that tire is toast, bud. Good job. <laughs> what? Is that, yours? is that mine? What do you think? <laughs> is this Super Legera my bike? It's in my pit. It must be, right? Right, Evan? This is mine. This is mine, the V4S. Of course, I have to have an Aprilia in my trailer. That 16-foot trailer, I fit six bikes in there. Seven, eight, nine. I got a dirt bike in there. <laughs> Look at this carbon. That body works pretty cool. He's got carbon road box. I'm going to ride this R6 tomorrow, though. This is my buddy Paul's bike. How much does this 
I don't even know. Why, why don't you Google it for us? You should, yeah. <laughs> and they. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that ironic? That's so ironic. The freaking like it's got some cheap little pieces on it, anyways. Yeah, well, I don't know, Evan. Google how much a super leger is worth. I don't have no clue. I mean, at least forty grand, right? Well, I mean, because they're limited numbers. No, these things are like almost forty grand, probably. Yeah, yeah. This is the no, not the Nicky Hayden one. Would you ever want to spend forty grand on a motorcycle, though? Nah, that's. I mean, twenty is not too bad. That's a car, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I spent forty on mine, but it's twenty less than twenty for the bike, and then you put twenty into it. I know it's different. This one still needs another twenty thousand dollars to go racing. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you can get away with that suspension. I've never really researched. Like, it's see the Olin's road and track forks are not what you want if that's what they are. You know, you want the actual twenty-five millimeter like carts or carts with the full forks. I think that's a pretty cool bike. I wouldn't want to buy it though. Like Kyle Wyman, his bike looks pretty sweet. He did decent in Moto America with his sixth place off the first round. Stock bike essentially. So I'm not sure the difference on the S, but I'm sure on YouTube all you guys are going to be like, Marcel, you don't know anything about Ducatis. And you're like, you're right, because I don't research shit that I can't afford. <laughs> And I especially didn't research this bike because I definitely can't afford this one. <laughs> or, nor would I want to. I wouldn't want to ride this. That twin, yeah, yeah, yeah. that well, motor is that thing's gonna shake like crazy. My friend got carbon fiber wheels on his ZX10, and I felt funny riding it because. Here, hold this for a second. Be very careful. Let's see. Oh, I did sit on the V4R at the motorcycle show. Yeah. So this is feels good. On my video, the BMW at the show, yeah, I, I had so many that. comments like, that guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's, like, <laughs> he's flying back and forth on the bike like an idiot. He, he's a track day warrior. And then other people comment like, dude, that guy, he's testing out moving his body. That's actually what happens. That's Marcel Ernie. <laughs> I yeah, think I know, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> like, because I was doing this and people actually comment on YouTube like, he doesn't know what he's doing. What is he doing flailing around on the bike? Get off the bike. But, so the seating position is so nice on the new ones, but compared to, you know, I've, ri I've ridden the 1299, not a Super Ligera, but I rode Steven's, you know, an S, oh, an S, oh yeah, look at that. There, Evan. Yes. I go from the V4, and it's super comfy like a BMW, and then you get on this bike, look, oh, my crotch. It's, it just forces you forward. You can't help but to, like, put all your weight on the handlebars. That's how I felt when I rode his 1299 S. You know, it's, it's, it's probably gonna be a lot of fun to ride, but it's just not, it's not that. The ergonomics are so screwed up on these older bikes. What year is that one? That look super Leggero. 2018, it says right here. Oh, this 16, one. 16, probably. 16 or 17. Panigale. Super. I don't know. Oh I wait. Think they have a limited they launched it in 16. I can't quite see the I year. think they made it two years. I think they made it in limited numbers. I don't know. 1285 CC. I'm not getting a year on that side. Oh, here we go. 2017, third month. So, who knows? Could be a 16, but it's 17 technically. Anyways, guys. Looks beautiful, huh? It would sit in my living Exactly. That's a good point. I always told everybody, if I had a Ducati that I won for free, if I won like a Panigale, it would sit with zero kilometers in, in, my, in my living room. <laughs> That's what you do. But now, but I would want to ride this though. That, it's a whole new world with the Panigale V4. Whole new world, guys. Yeah, this is as fast as the BMW. I heard it compares to the BMW. It's gonna have a lot of power, I bet too. Yeah, it's just I I like the V4R with the little wings. I like the idea of MotoGP. It's really cool with the lights too. They look pretty badass, it's huh? Pretty mysterious. They're so low slung, like you don't even see them like Actually, that. It looks just like the BMW, the new BMW. 